<laughs> hey guys, welcome to Xbox On. The Sea of Thieves anniversary update recently dropped, and one of the awesome additions were the brand new Tall Tales. You follow a set of mysterious clues left behind by other pirate travelers as you seek to find their misplaced treasure. So in this video, we're going to take you through some quick and easy steps on how to complete the first Sea of Thieves Tall Tale Shroud Breaker. Impossible to reach without great power. Step one. First up, start your game in adventure mode and assemble your crew. You'll spawn in the tavern of an outpost where you will find the mysterious stranger hanging around to the left of the bar. There's a barrel next to him with a book on top. This is the Shroud Breaker book which will start your quest. Using the X prompt on the book, vote for this tall tale. Each of your crewmates will need to do this and once you've all voted, the mysterious stranger will start telling you a story that you may want to pay attention to to get you all pumped up for the journey ahead. Once it's finished, you can go to your radial menu where your voyage maps and clues normally are and select the new shiny book that has now appeared. Have a read through the entire book as this would normally be the way to figure out where to go if it wasn't for this handy guide. And it might help you recognize the patterns for future tales you take on on your own. But you won't find it on any map for it was swallowed up by the mists of the Devil's Shroud. This book is the journal of the Pirate Lord himself. Step two. The book gives you clues to a set of islands that if you're in the right place, you would generally see on your fore and aft, or front and back. These islands are in the ancient isles, as the riddle suggests, and if you check your ship map, you'll figure out they're pushing you to go towards map square N14 to a small uncharted island, as mentioned in your book. Now, you're looking to find the captain's log of the Magpie's Wing, which is the boat that sunk in that area. Once on land, circle the outside of the island to find parts of the shipwreck, normally found on the northwest side of the island, swim underwater and find the sunken ship. There are two sides to the ship as it has snapped in half. The side you want is the one with the captain's quarters that have a large sign above them saying Magpie's Wing. You'll find what you're looking for on your left as you go in, in the form of a log that adds some additional pages to the book in your radial menu. Step 3. This log will tell you the journey of the Magpie's Wing. You want to head over to the map on your boat and follow the path laid out within the log rather than actually sailing there yourself. It will give you a starting location and then compass directions to where they threw the chest overboard. The log will have multiple start points and multiple directions it could have gone in. With this in mind, there may be some we missed out, but here are some options to help you in your journey. If the log describes a chain of islands or a clump of islands, it is very likely referring to Snake Island. If you read about a fortified island, the log is talking about a fort. A large tangled nest of islands has been known to be Shark Bait Cove. A large island with tall arches has indicated Thieves Haven. Small shallow isles has described Old Salt's Atoll. These descriptions should help you locate which island the crew dumps the chest off. The ancient chest can be found at Paradise Spring, Snake Island, Devil's Ridge, Lookout Point, Chicken Isle, Fool's Lagoon and Cutlass Cay. When you arrive at the correct island after following your own log, have a look at the log again and it may suggest what side of the island the chest was dropped off on. The chest should be underwater on the side mentioned in the book, which is sometimes a fair bit out. So look for a glint of light and you should find it's the ancient chest. Inside you'll find some additional pages for your Shroud Breaker tale book and also a totem. Step 4. If you look at the top of your new totem, there will be one of six carvings that corresponds to the island you need to go to. You could also figure out the location from the pages added to your log that you collected from the totem chest, but if not, then here are the locations. The boar totem points to Devil's Ridge. For the crab totem, head to the uncharted island at N14. The moon totem is at Crescent Isle, and the scarab totem goes to Crux Hollow. And then the snake totem is for Mermaid's Hideaway, and then the shark totem means you'll need to go to Kraken's Fall. Over on our Mixer livestream, we got the crab totem and the uncharted island at N14, where it all started. This was one of the more difficult of the bunch to solve, at least out of the ones we've seen. Step 5. Once you arrive at your specified island, there will be a hidden tomb to look for. 
It may be behind a hidden passage or underwater like ours was, so you'll need to do a bit of searching. With a hint like beyond the drowned tunnel the crab protects his lair, we figured it meant the entrance was underwater and the totem needed to be placed by the crab. There'll be other hints, such as Crook's Hollow hinting to a scarab behind the island's tears, which suggests it's tucked away behind a waterfall. It's something you'll need to use your context clues for, but if you've played a bit of Sea of Thieves before, you should know the drill by now. Take your totem down into the tomb and find the small flat top rock that will indicate to you where to place the totem. A secret passage should then open up for you. Step six. Once in the ancient vault, you'll be greeted by another puzzle. Stage one is to light the four corners of the altar by using your lantern, holding it high and waiting for the prompt to show up. The puzzle will now activate with four square pillars, which when approached, will give you an X prompt to rotate them. Once the four braziers are lit, the handprint button on the altar pressed, the pillars should show symbols with each turn of the pillar giving a different symbol. At this point, you'll need to refer to the last page of your Shroud Breaker book, where there are three lines of four symbols. You'll need to enter these solutions, starting at the top of the book by rotating the pillars to match the pattern. You have to be a little bit speedy here as the room will start to fill with water, and if you're too slow, you'll have to start again, all the way back to the mysterious stranger in the tavern. <laughs> Step seven. Once you solve this riddle, it's on to the next puzzle. On the altar with a handprint button, a picture will have appeared that refers to a location somewhere on your island. These will obviously vary from island to island, but here are where ours were found. You will most likely have to dig in these locations if they're above the waterline, but we had a couple tricky underwater ones to discover. What you'll find are medallions that you'll need to take back to the altar and place in one of the three slots. Once you do so, the next image will appear for the location of your next medallion. Once all three are found, epic music will play and the chamber that houses the Shroud Breaker will open. Hand this in back to the mysterious stranger and you're done with part one. Yay! <laughs> Great Ramsey's ghost. I heard all the stories, but to actually hold the Shroud Breaker in my hands, I never thought I'd see the day. Top tips. A few other tips to help you complete the Shroud Breaker is to try and avoid combat whenever possible because you will not want to have your ship sunk and lose an important quest item which may require you to complete previous steps again. Also, we definitely advise that you try to complete the Tall Tale with at least one other friend and Sea of Thieves. It's available on Xbox Game Pass and there's always amazing offers when you first sign up. So if over 100 great games for one monthly price sounds like your sort of thing, then what are you waiting for? Well. What are you waiting for? So that's how you complete part one of the awesome Sea of Thieves Tall Tales in the latest anniversary update. Just remember that if you own an active Xbox Game Pass subscription or own the full Sea of Thieves game itself, this update is yours for free. You just need to update and it's ready to go. Have fun out there on the seven seas, pirates. If you enjoyed this guide, then don't forget to check us out on mixer.com forward slash Xbox on where we'll be completing the next few stages over the coming weeks. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.